What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another banger and in today's video I have something very special to show to you guys. Today I'm going to tell you what is the best, the ultimate best opening for black and I would put this opening to be uh, very good to, uh, for playing for beginners, but also for some intermediate players. So I think that this opening is good if you're like 100 or if you're like 1500. You can beat so many people with such ease and with so many tricks. You're going to have so much fun with this opening. And this opening is called the one and only GOAT opening. And now you're probably wondering, Zappa, what is GOAT opening? Well, GOAT opening was invented by the Blito. He was my sub, but then he also started filming chess content and he created this banger here, guys. The GOAT opening for black pieces. I played it. It's so easy to play it. It's incredibly fun. You also have brilliant sacrifices in positions that the GOAT leads you to, which is like the main line of the GOAT. <laughs> I don't know much about it, so I definitely recommend that you go and check out the Blitos video as well if you want to like thoroughly study it, but I'm going to show you an example of my game that I have literally just played with the GOAT opening. It's so crazy. So, first, I'm going to show you my game, then I'm going to show you like uh, what I think the GOAT opening is about, okay? But still, if you want to be 100% sure, go to the Blitos channel because like he created the opening, so I'm just here the messenger, okay? So I played this game, okay, I'm 750 now, we played 3 minute blitz and this was just crazy, I really wanted to get the black pieces and I did. So we started, uh, yeah, I'm not showing a game review or any engine, I just want to show you how fun this is, because I don't care, I made some mistakes, I know, but like, I still enjoy the game. So, the part here is that you play the Petro, as we did, and uh, my opponent here went for the Italiano, which is the perfect setup for GOAT, why? Because here you just gambit this pawn, you just give it away, sir. Why? Because after he takes here, the bishop has absolutely no vision, okay? So that is very important, because if he had the vision, he would be looking at your f-pawn, which you do not want. So here, he like blocked himself, so he is doing against himself into your... Uh, goodness, okay, so he's actually helping you, the opponent is helping you by taking this pawn, so that's why we gambited here, okay, after this we just develop like this because we want our bishop to stare here later, okay, but here, in this position, my opponent developed a horse, so I was thinking like, hmm, I know that I should like in the goat push this up and uh, kick away this horse, so I still did it, I was expecting of my opponent honestly to sacrifice here, but he didn't, he moved away, okay, he moved away. So I was like, hmm, okay, let's ask him another question. So I did, because I really just wanted him out of the way. I don't care if I like lose a pawn, I already lost one, I'm detached, okay. So here, he grabs another pawn, and I was like, hmm, sir, should I trade this up? Uh, but I actually decided to jump here, I wanted to be more aggressive, uh, because my point was here, I'm looking saucy here, and my queen can also come here, uh, this is uh, defended by the way, naturally, literally naturally defended here, so I was like, hmm sir, I think that this horse here is magnificent, as it was, and uh, my opponent in this one cannot castle, if he castles, he's done for, okay? So that's why I put my horse here. Everything is looking, look at the position. It's just looking so saucy and we are on move seven, okay? By the way, we're playing with the black pieces as well, but we are just crushing. So here he decided to trade this up and I was like, I because I'm going to take with the queen, okay? Why? Because now if he castles up, he's literally dead. And my opponent castled up because he's a 700 of course what did you expect and we just made him <laughs> we just literally made the dude uh in nine moves uh with the goat opening this is not the main line of the goat opening as i would say it you know uh i'm going to now show you in the analysis uh how i feel about the goat opening what i think about it uh but uh, again i don't know if i'm right about this i just have my speculations so uh, I'm going to teach you the goat opening now as much as I know it. So uh, your opponent has to play e4. 
After which you just play e5 and you go into this petrol, okay? They have to develop like this and then you develop like this. So if they don't go into Stafford, but they go like into this type of situation, then you have the gold opening, which is amazing. Just try it out. You are going to win so many games. So after this, you go here. You gambit, as we said, no vision. The bishop is useless, just standing there for no goddamn reason at all. So after this part... Uh, after he took back, we can kick the knight, I think. So he can like go here, as we said, but then I just kick him again. That's how I do it. Uh, but if he like goes, I don't know, here. Oh, wait, I forgot about the move. Oh my god, goodness. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the move. I was like, this is not the goat opening. Yeah, after he takes here, guys, you develop the bishop. See, I forgot about it. But you develop the bishop. Why? Because then the pawn cannot move forward. That's the deal. So you are just blocking your opponent in this one. So now he has to do something. And let's say, I don't know. I don't know what could he do. But uh, in my situation, it was a horse here on c3. Uh, but let's say he does something like this. I don't know. He just does something, okay? Okay. So now you just push the pawn, okay? And like, if he goes uh, here, we saw what happens, okay? I just ask him a question and that's it. But if he like goes here, then you can literally castle up to make them castle up. And then after that, you hit them with a brilliant, with a brilliant sacrifice. Because after they take, you just go here. Uh, the queen has to be sacrificed to save the day, but of course she won't, especially if you're a 700 or like 1200. No, sir, they ain't gonna do that. Uh, best move is to go here. They can also go here. Uh, I mean, if they go like here, that's kind of weird, but you are still pretty much winning. Uh, but after this, it's just like GG because you're threatening this mate. So the queen has to uh, give herself for the horse if you want to continue playing with the white pieces. Uh, but in the most scenarios, at least in my... Uh, in my experience, it has just been like, I jump and they just move and then it's checkmate. They do things like this, like th they go here, it's still literally GG. Or like, I don't know what do they do. They just like try to move here. It's still GG because after this, I think, oh wait, no, that ain't mate, okay? After this, okay, they can actually do this, but I think that we have to then give a check with something else probably, okay? I just don't know, okay, sir? <laughs> they say mate in five. Okay, queen f2 check is mate in five. Oh, we go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the king can't pass here, so he has to go here. And then after that, you can checkmate him in four moves that I don't feel like finding, okay? But you can feel uh, the position here. It's a very easy to play, okay? It's very easy to understand as a beginner. Uh, I only have sometimes this issue with... Um, after this, after I ask the question, wait, this is the wrong line. We go here and then he like does something, as we said, something. He can also go here, we don't care. But like we ask the question here. So sometimes I forget if they go like here. That's why I now ask, bef uh, because before I wouldn't ask. I would just like, I don't know, castle to make them castle, which is okay. But then after you like sacrifice here and he takes, uh, you can give this check and he moves, but then like... I mean, you can take the horse and still do the same thing, but if the bishop here is open, then you can't. So you have to pay attention to things like that. Uh, but still, it's a very interesting opening. I definitely recommend it to everyone, okay? And let's, uh, once again, look at this game. This was nine moves. Sir, this was nine moves. I literally just crushed him in nine moves. Look at this. So we just play like this, we just want to prepare everything, and we want to block our opponent. This variation is interesting, but I, th I feel like I'm winning, even though here when I go h6, Stockfish is telling me this is a mistake, uh, but I don't care, okay? I, I do be gambiting everything, because I just play for win, and I play for fun, I don't care about losing a pawn, okay? In this situation, look at this. This was just marvelous, okay? So, uh, this is how you win, guys. If you want to win a chess with the black pieces, because I understand that a lot of people probably, like, struggle, especially beginners, uh, with playing with the black pieces, because white has the first move, so it's kind of like... 
to beginner's eyes, like, oh, you have a move extra in a way and like you would decide the game. But it can be vice versa. You can decide the game also uh, with the black pieces. You can make the rules. You just have to play aggressive and you have to like block your opponent so that he doesn't have any vision. So if you see that your opponent like wants to target your F pawn, you just block him like this with the pawn. He cannot look at it. He's just looking at his own pawn, which is ridiculous. Why would you want your bishop to be that useless, you know? So you just do that to your opponent and guys, you're gonna win. So uh, that is the GOAT opening. And I really like the name, the GOAT opening, greatest of all time. And honestly, I really do be enjoying it. So guys, definitely give it a try if you're interested after seeing this video, uh, because I believe that you can win so many games, especially, I know that a lot of beginners look at my videos so guys if you're like in this rating maybe even higher i i tell you like i think to maybe even 1500 people will fall for this uh, because the creator of the goat opening the blito is like 17 1800 in blitz and he showed us the games where his opponents fall for that. So, uh, I mean, if his opponents fall for that, mine will as well. So this opening is just perfect if you're starting out, if you want to learn to play tactical, if you want to have fun, if you just want to throw pieces, if you want to like create confusion on the board, definitely try out the GOAT opening. And once again, uh, check out the Blitos channel because he created this and this is just amazing. And it's such a fun opening, okay? So guys, this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun and I hope that you will try out the goat. So if you do, make sure to let me know in the comments down below what are your opinions in this opening because I, I do be really enjoying it. It's very fun. It's very like diverse. Like you can try out many different things and you can like beat your opponents quickly, quickly, sir. So quickly, like they have no idea where they are. Okay. So uh, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, that is it from your girl, Chess Doctor. Make sure to have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. And if you are not subscribed, sir, what are you waiting for? Just make sure to click that subscribe button and check out the description if you want to join the Discord, if you want to join the Soul Crushers Club and play in our arenas. And if you want to uh, become a member of this channel or if you want to donate, buymeacoffee.com slash zapatzapeti is the link for the donations so guys i i think i said everything so uh, check out the goat opening definitely have a wonderful day and good luck to you all good luck in your uh, further chess adventures and i will see you all tomorrow in a new video bye bye